Constantly on the move, Madeline pursued new targets. She championed masturbation. She ridiculed the Pope. She challenged the words, under God, in the Pledge of Allegiance, and in God we trust, on dollar bills. Grabbing big TV ratings, she became a scandalous demon on the talk shows. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Madeline Murray O'Hare. We knew if we were going to succeed with this daytime television show, we better have something that will compel the viewer. And my first guest was Madeline Murray O'Hare. You can imagine. I mean, I found Elvis. I mean, th this woman drew a very large crowd, and that's what I was paid to do. Although I thought her message was very, very important. Your grief is not assuaged, as would be the religionist, who believes that there is another place where uh, happiness will again be abundant. Oh, that's a big lollipop. I know you I don't believe that. We, that. I, I'm we asking... must look at them, and we don't say, we never say they've passed over, or they're gone to their reward, or they have... Uh, uh, been transported or anything else. People are dead. Madeline could be very, very unpleasant and sarcastic. Almighty God, she pronounced God, God. You go ahead and pray, and she'd laugh at people who prayed. You're going to spend your whole life preparing to meet the Lord. Boy, you folks are crazy as hell. And she seemed to get the biggest kick out of uh, the Christians who called the program and wished that God would damn her in hell forever in boiling oil. That just thrilled her. That was a success. That was her proof that religion was a form of mental illness. Hitting the road in the 1970s, Madeline introduced a whole generation to the seditious ideas of atheism. 